So I heard you like freezing? Yes. Did you know that Horfrost Z is an exotic? Nah. Well, in this video, I am going to show you just how powerful it is and has been this whole time. With this build, we will have literally infinite freeze abilities and I am not exaggerating. Do I look like someone who's exaggerating? Come on, bro. And all of these abilities are walls, meaning you have infinite cover for high-end difficulty activities like Grandmaster Nightfall. This creates a protector titan power fantasy like something that you have never seen before and it actually surprised me quite a lot. What's good guys, it's Zen, and if you know me, you know I'm not gonna waste your time with my video, so after I describe the build, I am gonna show you just how powerful it is by showing you how it clutched up in a Grandmaster Nightfall. Let's hop right in. So I heard- Now first of all, let's discuss our exotic Horfrost Z. This turns your barricade into a wall of stasis crystals. This effect is very simple, but with some synergies, it combines to create an absolutely filthy kit. This exotic also gives you and your allies an increase to reload speed, stability, and range, just like the rally barricade. This effect doesn't happen too often, but it's a nice touch. What you may not know about Horfrost Z is that it actually has a hidden perk not explained in the description, which I'll get into later in the video. Our exotic weapon of choice is going to be Aegir's Scepter. If you didn't know, this exotic is an absolute beast that is heavily slept on. After each kill, you create a stasis explosion with an insane radius, effectively freezing everything in the vicinity. This creates some absolutely wild ad clear potential. The Exotic's Catalyst also has an intrinsic perk where when your super is fully charged, you can hold reload to supercharge the weapon. This will slowly drain your super energy in exchange for a massive damage bonus. Additionally, in this form, Aegir's Scepter will now slow on hit, escalating up to a freeze the longer it remains on a target. This was the original chill clip, except it's much more consistent and deadly. With this supercharged effect, the weapon is able to stun all three types of champions in the game, freeing up your weapon slots very effectively. This super mode pairs with Stasis Titan greatly, since the Shivering Strike is a roaming super, and roaming supers are notorious for getting you killed in endgame content. With Aegir Scepter, we replace our roaming super for a much safer, triple champion stunning super. Now with these two exotics combined, we have set the framework, but the build really comes to life in our class and our armor mods. Let's start with the class. For your grenade, you'll want Glacier as this plays excellently into our infinite freeze wall spam. The aspects are really where the build starts to come to life. First of all, we're gonna need Tectonic Harvest. This creates stasis shards when destroying crystals from our stasis walls. These crystals give us a nice chunk of our melee ability energy back. This aspect combined with some mods is what gives us that infinite ability spam. Next, we have Howl of the Storm. This creates a small stasis wall when we slide into our charge melee. This aspect gives us another form of stasis walls, giving us a total of three. Destroying this wall creates even more stasis crystals for even more ability energy. Now our fragments step up this power even further. First of all, with Whisper of Rhyme, we will get overshield when collecting stasis shards. This happens literally all of the time, since our core gameplay loop has us breaking the crystals for ability energy. Next, we have Whisper of Shards, which gives you greatly increased grenade recharge after destroying a stasis crystal, allowing us to spam our glacier grenade. Next, we have Whisper of Conduction, which sends stasis shards flying our way after destroying stasis walls. This fragment has excellent range and is absolutely key if you plan to use this in endgame content, since you can't really run out of position too much in that setting. Finally, we have Whisper of Hunger, which gives us increased melee energy when picking up the stasis shards. With our fragments and aspects combined, we have created a powerful ability spam gameplay loop. We activate one of our many stasis wall abilities, use it as cover, then destroy that wall before it ends to give us our abilities back so we can spam the walls infinitely. The best method to do this is with your fists if the wall is close to you as that will conserve your ammo. You can punch them individually, but if you get this technique down, you can actually punch one and then slide into the rest and they'll all break instantly. This build is now quite solid at stasis wall spamming, but our mods are really what makes the abilities infinite. But before the mods guys, I wanted to mention Horfrost Z's hidden perk. Guys, this exotic has secret synergy with Aegir Scepter. When you break the stasis wall with your Aegir Scepter, you'll refund a bit of ammo into the gun from your reserves. 
This is quite useful when you aren't close enough to punch your walls down, and again, with Whisper of Shards, your stasis crystals will then track you down. Now let's discuss those armor mods. After that, I'll show you just how useful this build is when I was using it in some Grandmaster Nightfalls. Now for your helmet, you'll need special and heavy ammo finder for your ammo economy. On top of that, we'll take Harmonic Siphon, which will create orbs for multi-kills with Aegir Scepter. For your arms, you'll want Grenade Kickstart, which gives you grenade energy back when you use your grenade. Then we'll take both Focusing Strike and Impact Induction, which gives you grenade and class ability energy respectfully when damaging a target with our melee. For your chest, you'll need two charged up mods, which allows you to have up to five stacks of armor charge. This might seem like overkill, but when combined with our leg mods, Elemental Charge and Stacks on Stacks, we will often have 5 stacks of Armor Charge. Elemental Charge has a chance to give us Armor Charge when collecting Stasis Shards, which we will be constantly doing. Now guys, if you're wondering what this Armor Charge does, it makes our Grenade Kickstart stronger. Having 5 Armor Charge gives you much more Grenade Energy back than having no Armor Charge. Finally, for our class item, we'll be using two bomber mods and one utility kickstart mod for even more grenade and class ability uptime. For your stats, you'll need 100 resilience for that 30% damage reduction and the fastest barricade cooldown, then 100 discipline for your grenade cooldown. After that, go ahead and get as much strength as you can for your slide melee walls. For your other weapons, you can use pretty much whatever you want. You guys don't really need to run any specific guns, Aegir Scepter included. This build itself already has infinite grenades. I often paired this with Wish Ender for some more range. But if you want maximum build synergy, a Waveframe Grenade Launcher will give you that double special, which if you didn't know increases your heavy ammo drops. But on top of that, Waveframes break the stasis walls excellently. And again, Aegir Scepter freeze capabilities paired with its secret Horfrost synergy make it a no-brainer. But again guys, your weapons are truly up to you so experiment and just have fun with it and guys just like that we have infinite freeze ability stasis walls let me explain one more time everything in our kit then i'll show you just how useful this build was for my teammates and i when i ran grandmaster nightfalls basically all you're gonna want to do is throw down your stasis walls break them as they're about to end then continue the process. Destroying a stasis crystal from one of your walls does four things. It creates a stasis shard, which gives you melee energy, overshield, increased grenade recharge, and armor charge. With this armor charge, you now gain increased ability energy from grenade and utility kickstart when you use your grenade or barricade. When you use your barricade, you get a bit of grenade energy back due to our bomber stacks. When you damage an enemy with your melee, you get barricade and grenade energy from focusing strike and impact induction. Your stasis walls automatically freeze enemies that they touch. Shooting them while they're frozen causes them to shatter which intrinsically stuns unstoppable champions. Aegir Scepter automatically reloads itself when you destroy a stasis crystal from one of your walls with the gun. Additionally, when entering the Aegir Scepter super mode, your gun now effectively deals with all three champions, since barriers become frozen before they can put up their shield, unstoppables get frozen then shattered, and overloads get stunned just by the slow effect. Absolutely disgusting stuff. Guys, the build is so simple. I just explained everything synergizing here so you know if you want to, but seriously, you don't need to think about any of this. Fitting of a titan build. You just spam your stasis walls and break them before they disappear. You can do that infinitely. That's about it. <laughs> and now that you know the build, let me show you a specific scenario in a Grandmaster Nightfall where this build truly shined for my teammates and I. Okay, so guys, in this Grandmaster Nightfall, there isn't much cover, so you kind of have to sit in the back of the map in this position, but with our stasis walls, we are actually able to push up. You just saw I had one stasis wall up, my teammate died, I'm able to throw another, get the res, and I'm able able to throw one to stun the overload champion we do the slide melee to give us even more cover so that way we're able to clean up the overload champion and i throw another wall just so that there's another one up constantly and that is going to be the build today guys i hope you enjoy it because personally i had a lot of fun testing it out if you enjoyed this type of content at all be sure to subscribe as i post destiny 2 videos multiple times a week right now mainly focusing on news and builds i have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and if everyone watching this subscribes I could definitely hit that easily, and I would love to do that so I can prove my mother wrong. Please help. Please send help. Send help. I'd like to give a shout out to my man Triples1935, as he is the one who has suggested the build. If you guys have any build ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments. If I test them out and I like them, I'll make a video about it and shout you out. Either way, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.